Hello everyone, uh, I'm Patrick and this is my first Blender tutorial ever and I want today to create this Kawaii 3D model that you see as a concept art here and I want to really quickly go through this with a lot of short commands and the quick tips and tricks so let's get started immediately. I remove the cube just pressing delete and this is kind of a torus that is you know partly cut away so I'll add a torus And it has, you can say this is a six-sided profile. So in the in the settings here, I will just keep six sides. I will press Tab to enter edit mode, and I will exit edit mode, just to kind of lock it. Uh, and if you look from the front side by pressing one, I want to rotate it around the x-axis, 90 degrees. I want to now go into edit mode because we want to remove a lot of vertices now. Um, so double pressing A, we deselect everything. Pressing Z, we can go into wireframe mode. And now pressing C, we can select all the vertices. Now I'm scrolling the mouse wheel here to do a larger selection. So I will select basically these and I will press delete vertices. Now we actually have the banana shape ready. Now I want to press Alt on this edge here somewhere so that it selects everything around it. I'll press 1 again to go into front view and now I want to press E to extrude. Scale down a little bit with S. R to rotate. E to extrude. S, sorry, S to scale, R to rotate, E, S, and let's do the stem also. Extrude, rotate, extrude, I will rotate outwards, oh sorry, scale outwards now. Perfect. Uh, press Z again, do solid rendering. As you can see now, it's not capped here. So Alt, click on the edges. Uh, I now will press E to extrude the uh, vertices. I right click so they stay in the same place. I scale it inwards. I press Alt M and I merge vertices in the center. So now I just have one vertice in the center. And uh, we can just move it a little bit. So that's the end of the banana. Let's go to the front. We do the same thing, we alt click, alt left click. I press 1 to see everything from the front. I press E, S, R. E, S, R. E, S, that's enough. And again, I press E to extrude the vertices. Normally it looks like this, but by pressing right click, it stays in the same place. I scale it inwards and press Alt M and merge at center. And we can move it a little bit out. Like that. So, there's a basic banana shape. Now I want to give it a material. So we go to the material. We Add yellow, banana yellow, of course. I select everything and press assign. So now we actually have a yellow banana. Now I want to have this brown part, as you can see here in the in the front. Ah, now you see my view just disappear. Sometimes it happens. We don't know where anything is. Press the home key, and you will see everything on on screen. And we can just zoom in again. I double press A now to deselect everything. I press 3 to select faces. I press C to get this face selector. And I will just select these ones. Now I create the new material up here with a plus sign. And go for a dark brown. And now we have these faces selected. I press assign. So that gets the brown material. 
here's the basic banana now. And now I want to add the Kava eyes. And that is just basic spheres. So we'll add a sphere. We're going to rotate around 90 degrees to get this vertex looking front. I will scale it down a lot. Move it here somewhere. G, Y to move it in Y direction. I will now scale Y, press it together. Scale it down a little bit more. I will press space to search for a shade smooth. Shade smooth. And now it's actually shaded much better. I will give it a black material. And I want to mirror it over to the other side. And what you will see now is when I add a mirror modifier, this happens to you a lot, I believe. Nothing happens, right? That is because I will remove the mirror modifier. This object has been scaled, moved and everything, so it doesn't really know where its center is anymore. So by clicking object, apply transforms, all transforms, it now kind of knows where it is. So now when you click on mirror, it actually mirrors it to the correct position on the other side. Uh, can't really explain it deeply, but that is how you do it. Now I want to add a white highlight here. And the easiest method is to add a circle rotate X, scale it down, move, scale it down, move it in Y direction, I press front view again, put it here somewhere. Now we're going to edit mode. Now I want to do it like this. I extrude, right click, scale. Extrude, right click, scale. Extrude, right click, scale. Extrude, right click, scale. And then I press Alt M and merge it center. Nice. So, what I want to do with this one, this white object, is to actually shrink wrap it. Uh, now you see, I can't, I can't zoom any anymore in perspective mode. But if I press five, I will enter orthographic mode, and now suddenly we can zoom in a lot more. So what I want to do is shrink wrap this object around the curvature of this black uh, sphere. So we use the shrink modifier, shrink wrap modifier, and we use the target, the black eye, and as you see, it's exactly on the surface, which is something we don't like. We want it to actually be offsetted 0 0.001 or something. So it actually moves outside. But it kind of keeps the curvature of the of the black uh, eye object. And the problem is that the black eye object now is too low polygon actually. So if we, if we click on the I and we can actually add a subdivision modifier to make it much smoother and actually it happens after the mirror modifier so it doesn't go on to, to, to the other side so we can actually move the subdivision modifier here up in the stack because it's layered like first it subdivides then it mirrors and now the white object here will have much easier to find places to shrink wrap around. I can even now shift D click to duplicate the object, scale it a little bit, move it around. And now we have a Kawaii eye. And the last last thing I want to do is this really funny mouth. And the easiest method of doing it uh, it's actually a uh, half a torus, but I will show you another method is to add a circle again, rotate around x axis 90 degrees, scale it down a lot, 
move it down a little bit. I will go into edit mode. I will use C to select um, select vertices that I want to remove and we remove these. Now I want to add a modifier called see it happen again, I pressed 5 and went into orthographic mode and pressed home. Um, we add something called skim. It adds material and we also add subdivision surface to make it a little bit smoother. And now inside here, if you press wireframe, you actually have vertices. And these are the ones we want to control. So when all of them are selected, we can press control A. Then you can uh, control the skinning, how much it affects every vertice. You can actually kind of go to here, and then you want to press the end vertices and control them extra. Add a little bit of more material on them. So if I press Z again, solid, you basically have a mouth now. Uh, I will exit. I can actually scale in a little bit in the Z axis. We move it downwards and in the Y direction. We will give it the same material that we made before here for the eye. And ah, we can see now that the eye should actually be pushed further back, like halfway through. And there you have it, a Kawaii banana. There was a lot of short commands, and I hope you followed along. Just ask me questions. What did you do there? What kind of command did you use? Um, and please tell me how this was. This was my absolute first Blender tutorial ever. And I sure want to do more if you guys want me to do it. So, thanks a lot and good luck.